So basically how I discuss racism with people that have a different opinion to me, and that happens to me a lot, not really sure why, um, you've got to be patient, I think. Um, and I think more than anything, actually question people, not, not in a way where you're, you're being defensive or, or asking them to explain themselves, but question what it is that they're actually believing in. Um, it happened with a, a young girl I know, and she made a pretty racist comment, um, pretty broad sweeping one. And so I thought I'd just kind of ask her some small questions to get her thinking about what she'd said. And, um, and I asked her, like she's a beautiful young girl, blonde, blue eyed, and I said, you know, if you, if you were born in China, what would you be? And she said, Chinese. I said, but you've got blonde hair. She goes, yeah, but if I was born there, I'd be Chinese. And I was like, so, does that mean you're going to ask every single person you meet on the street that you think doesn't look Australian if they're born here or if they're a citizen? Because that really means you're just going to have to ask every single person from now on, you know, if you're going to have those kind of opinions. And she's like, oh, you're confusing me. And I was like, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to get you to think about what you just said about what makes an Australian an Australian, you know? And then she kind of had a moment and hopefully one day that sinks in somewhere that would be wonderful but I think yeah you've just you've just got to pose questions that lead people in a different direction of thinking.